Today on OsoGrandeKnives.com, we're looking at the new 2013 Quartermaster Knives Hannibal QTR4. This is a mean looking, futuristic looking mega folder. The looks can be quite deceiving. It, at initial glance, it looks like it would be quite uncomfortable to hold, but it is actually quite comfortable, and there are a number of different grip positions that you can utilize with this knife. It's a stout, heavy-duty, hard-use folding knife. It, its lockup is via a liner lock mechanism with heavy jimping on it. The uh, knife is just incredibly smooth opening thanks to QTR's ORB ball bearing system. These are sealed ball bearings in this pivot system which make it so that it can be tightened up to incredibly tight tolerances. There's absolutely no blade play in it left, right, or forward or backwards or up or down. It's just a uh, bank vault solid but it's incredibly smooth. I don't think I've really found any large folders this big that you can just open it up so effortlessly with such minimal force. You can open it fast if you want to using that flipper or you can open it relatively slow. And when the need arises to open it quietly you can just hold the liner lock till it's opened and release it and it's completely silent. Looking down at the top you can see the inner workings on it. It has a open build flow through design with barrel spacers, thick stainless steel frame, medium textured G10 scales, there is a pocket clip mounted for right hand tip up carry in the pocket. It is reversible so it is completely ambidextrous. There's no lanyard hole in it, but there's a lanyard post, so you can attach your lanyard right there. All of the hardware on here are Torx head fastened. You have an oversized heat treated pivot pin. Looking down from the top, you can kind of see the diameter of that pivot pin in there. Note the heavy jimping on the spine of the blade. Also there are three thumb studs. And at first I thought those were just for looks, but really they are very nice to open up. It feels really good. You get a great grip on there with your thumb. They're dual ambidextrous. There's a grind here. It's not sharpened or anything, but it helps it to give it a nice appearance. Notice that the blade is extremely thick all the way out to the tip. It's an inverted Tonto or reverse Tonto style blade. The blade steel is the 154 stainless steel. It's got a saber ground section here. And this blade is very stout. It's 3 16th of an inch thick or 0.1875 or 5 millimeters thick. So it's a very sturdy folding knife. The uh, rear portion of the handle has some jimping on it here to aid your grip. You can move all the way back on this and have a good grip. You can move farther forward. Notice that there's also jimping here on the uh, flipper which transforms into a guard in the open position. The flipper is barely visible there but you can, you can see it and how easy and effortless it is. You don't have to at all flick your wrist with this knife. Just do the flipper and let the ball bearings do the rest for you. Very impressive full-size folder. The uh, blade length again is 5 inches with a 3 16 inch thickness. The handle length when it's closed measures in at 7, 7.5 inches and the handle thickness is 0.750. The uh, handle, the blade material is CPM 154 stainless steel. It's been hardened to 58 to 60 HRC. On this side of the knife it says USA made and it has the serial number on there. 
This side has Quartermaster's Q logo. The weight is a hefty 11.6 ounces. They call this a subliminal frame lock, but really it looks to me like it's just a glorified name for a liner lock mechanism. The ORB pivot system is really nice. And the overall length on it when it's open measures in at 11 inches and it's entirely made in the US. You can buy these, they're a limited run, they're only making 300 of them at OsoGrandeKnives.com. We thank you for watching and please stay tuned for more knife reviews.